looks like it's actually time for you to see the doctor so this is perfectly timed out and the doctor will see you now I hope you feel better Hello, I am Dr. Cicada. It's so lovely to have you as a new patient. Mm -hmm. Yes, the circumstance is quite unfortunate, but you will be in good, good care. I promise. Mm -hmm. I would uh, shake your hand, um, but I think it's best that you don't move too much. Yeah, to not cause more pain than you are already in. Mm -hmm. I can sense a lot of discomfort. Okay. Well, um, before we get into the examination, do you feel comfortable, um, telling me what happened to you? Okay. What? Um, no, sweetie. No, we don't have any lights or anything going on for you. Let's see. Do you mind if I get a quick look into your eyes? Okay. Okay, just going to shine. Okay, so I think you may be just experiencing a migraine. So, yeah. Okay, we'll get that taken care of. Um, no, I'm sorry. Uh, let's get back to what happened. Okay. 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 Yeah. I, I think I have a good understanding. So, I would like to start off seeing you are not the first person that this has happened to. I have helped many patients mm -hmm, with this dilemma. Okay. Um, but I think this is the worst case I have seen. You will be feeling better in no time, I promise. Okay. Um, do you mind if I take a look at the post? Do you mind showing me? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, okay. And then the Elon Musk fanboys started jumping in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks like they roasted you pretty good. So, yeah. 
um, it's typically not a good thing when you see the musketeers start jumping out of the woodworks and uh, go for someone like you. So, fragile. You didn't stand a chance. That's okay. That's okay. We'll go ahead and um, go over some proactive measures before we get into the full examination. I think maybe one thing that uh, went south in your post was an improper use of their so let's talk about that very briefly, okay? I know you're still a little um, a little discombobulated, so I will be brief, okay? But I do think it's important. Yeah. So I don't have. my sheet on me. I typically keep it in the office because this does happen quite often. Yes. Alrighty, so. Um, they only left me x-ray paper and icing. Excuse me, piece of pee. Here we go. First we have Okay. Now this is spelled E H E I R. Now, when you use this form of there, we are discussing possession. Okay. Um, their roast was quite gnarly, my dude. We have this one. Now this one is T H E R E. This one will be more about location. Mm -hmm. For example, um, one of your eyes seems to be looking over it. There, meanwhile, the other seems to be looking over there. Yes, that's just an example. Yeah. Okay. And here's the final form. And we say this one there. T H E Y apostrophe R E. Now, this one is actually two words that have been pushed together, and the words are they are. Okay, so if you are using this, you should be able to completely remove it from the sentence and add in they are and it should always make perfect sense. If it doesn't, then you should be using one of these. Possession, location, 
they are. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I know you're a bit confused, not all here right now. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to recommend that you take these. You will take one a day for two weeks now. Since you are not in the best state of mind, this will help you remember the different forms of there. And I suggest that you also practice the different forms. It's nothing to be ashamed of, I promise. Mm -hmm. I know other doctors that still struggle with it, okay? So this is going to put in place that information and it will hold it there for two weeks, okay? Okay, good. Okay, so now we're going to move on into the examination. I can sense that your skin is quite irritated. So I'm going to try my best to not move you. I'm going to go slow. I'll be gentle. There will be no sudden movements. Okay. Okay. So. I'm going to carefully lift your arm. Very careful. You did really good. Um, your blood pressure was a little bit high, mm -hmm. but that happens typically with this particular situation. Okay. Alrighty. I'm going to check your heart rate. just want to come around behind you. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Good. Okay. So, your heart rate is a bit fast. Um, I anticipate that being a result of uh, the situation. Yes, yes, of course. So, I'm hoping that we can bring that down and we're gonna go ahead and check that again more towards the end of our examination, okay? 
Okay. First, I'm going to start taking a look at your um, face. Mm -hmm. um, I will be applying some pressure, light pressure. If anything hurts, tell me immediately. Um, and I will stop. We can take a breather, or I can just move on to a different area altogether. Okay. So, I'm just gonna get a little close. are no longer there. Okay. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so gonna push down here. Okay. Are you ready? area I am noting a uh, lot of irritation mm -hmm. but as we know um, the scars that hurt the most are on the inside yeah. okay. so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and kind of clean that up a little bit and um, apply a cooling gel This may have a bit of a tingling sensation, but nothing too bad, okay, so. Circular motions. Okay, so hold. Okay, great. Now, 
for the cooling gel and you should feel instant relief, okay? Yes. Just gonna brush your hair out of your face. That feel better. Good. Good. So try not to touch. We want the medicine to work. Let it absorb. Mm, I can already see the color kind of. Alright, well, I'm kind of going to walk around you and I will be tugging on your shirt just a little bit just to see how far the, um, the burns and damage has gone, okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna start here. that's kind of what I thought. Um, most of the damage is superficial, which is good. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, there wasn't much traveling down the body, so that's good. So I was noticing your hands. Yes. Um, you mind if can you yeah. Okay. Um the hands look like they were targeted. <laughs> Which is very curious. But I have a theory. Um now do you have any posts of your hands that are uh, maybe not necessarily the center of the focus, but uh, were clearly visible? Yes. Okay. Um, would you mind showing me that picture? Um, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Here it says, your hands look like you pick potatoes for a living. For a living. Well, that one's quite ridiculous. Because everybody knows that potato harvesting machines are very affordable. No one's picking potatoes these days. So 
well, um, it's kind of what I suspected. Um, typically, uh, once they have found you as a target, they will go through your history and find, um, something easy to roast. So, since this is not a, a fire or a chemical burn, I'm going to prepare a bowl for you of cold water and ice and you can rest your hands in there. Okay. prepared bowl of water. Mm -hmm. So, take one hand, take your next hand, and just kind of swish. Very good. How are you feeling? Good? We don't want them in here for too long. Good. Okay, you can take them out. Very good. The cloth for you. Just a little bit with the cool, cool water. Mm -hmm. And I will be avoiding the gel area. Okay. and check your heart rate one more time. Okay. So your heart rate has decreased. That is exactly what we wanted. You did 
did very well. I can already see that you are returning to a somewhat normal state. Mm hmm Yeah. Alright, so just to kind of recap again, uh, I want you to, if you would like, you don't have to, I would like for you to take one of these a day for two weeks, okay? You are in a bit of a state of shock. So this is just going to help you during this time and then after two weeks you should be able to start working on remembering and learning that and uh, typically it would also be a good idea to know the difference between your and your mm, then and then so you take that alright now this will be two times a day for three days and what this helps with is emotional anguish, embarrassment, um, self-doubt, yada yada yada, mm -hmm. um, just for the time being. Now be careful not to. Are you pregnant? Okay, good. Good, good, good. So, be sure not to take more and the recommended dosage. Mm -hmm. um, if you take more than the recommended dosage, um, it can cause the Dunning-Kruger effect. We, we want to avoid that. Taking this dosage should be just fine for three days. Mm -hmm. Now you should notice uh, in about three hours from the last time you were on social media that your aches and pains should start to reside. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're very welcome. Now, I want you to know that you have everything that you need inside of you to get past this. Yes. Mm-hmm. I truly believe it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I hope that you enjoy your Tic Tacs. Um, I didn't say that. I hope that you enjoy your snack. And if you need anything, please feel free to give me a call. And once again, everything that you need is within you, okay? You are a beautiful person. No matter what those musketeers say.